Hello and welcome to another edition of Drop In Bombs with me, your host, Corey Baumeister, as always with the lovely folks over at StarCityGames.com, bringing you the best in trading card needs, articles, tournaments, whatever, they do it all. It's all good over here at Star City. Um, so today we are playing a deck that I have just loved in Standard, and it was absolutely a dominant force in Standard. Uh, even though Bant Humans kind of like won Worlds, uh, in 2015, Bant Company was the deck in 2015. It, it was being played everywhere. We're playing a very similar list here, courtesy to uh, Watsy staff Andrew Brown, 5 0 a league. Typical Andrew Brown, heads to work for Watsy Staffs, but remembers the good old days of playing Bant Company and was like, yeah, I better go just 5 0 a league before I go to work making more magic cards. So kudos to you, Andrew. Um, we got some upgrades here. We get to play Oko and Gilded Goose. Kind of just have the best of both worlds. Oko's dominating basically every format right now. And at least this is a really fun deck to abuse the Oko shell, as well as just a phenomenal collected company shell. I'm not going to spoil any of the results, but I have a deck tech at the end where you can check out a little bit more about talking about the individual cards as well as uh, how the matches went. You can fast forward to uh, any of the matches here with the hyperlinks below. And uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoy the games. See you there. All right, and welcome to round one here with Bant Company. Oh, it feels so good to be able to say those words again. Bant Company was one of my favorite decks of all time. I started to lean more towards Bant Humans towards the end of the company reign in Standard, but still one of my favorite decks and now new additions and stuff. This is going to be a blast. All right, so we won the die roll. Let's go first. It's a little awkward because we can't cast Gilded Goose on turn one. But we still get to go Voice of Resurgence into Spellcaller here. I think this is a keep. A close keep, though. I will say this is a close keep. Now, I think we want to start with one of these Fabled Passages because essentially one of those... One of these Fabled Passages has to come into play tapped unless it's our fourth and fifth land drop. Which, uh, unlikely. And I mean, it's I could save two damage with Hollowed Fountain or just do this. Okay, this could be that mono blue deck that I've seen kind of running around. I think Voice of Resurgence is probably going to be quite good against that. Wow, I didn't even think about that. Okay, so we're going to start with that. Boom. Probably a pretty tough card for them to deal with. All right, we'll pass it to them. Now, we don't want to see like a bunch of Curious Obsession shenanigans, but it doesn't look like that's the case. Okay, there's Oko, so at least something to play here. So we're going to do this, and we're going to attack. We played our land first just because they flash something in and try to block this. Okay, now do we want to protect or get an Oko down? I think we just protect here. I think we just protect. It seems really hard to lose with a Voice of Resurgence in play, and if we just deal with their Tempest Gin or whatever. All right, ouch, 16. Yeah, pretty tough for them to like play anything here, but we kind of can't play stuff either, but we do just win this race. I mean, obviously more stuff is gonna happen uh, before then, but we will attack. And right, now we're just gonna play a Gilded Goose and land go. Generate some extra mana and then we can start casting more stuff next turn. All right, and then we'll pass it. All right, yeah, this seems really tough for them to get out of. Oh, like a Master Wave or something is pretty annoying here. Okay, that's not bad. All right, I think we're gonna get blue here. And we'll try to run this out. Spell Quella. And even if this gets countered by something here, they can counter the ability of Siren Storm Tamer, but then guess what? It's an Elk. Tempest Elk. Okay, doesn't want to do it. Interesting choice. Okay, there's another Spell Queller. It's pretty tough for us to just not hold back, play another Spell Queller here. But Oko and uh, Dustwatch Recruiter is pretty tempting as well. Maybe I do that. Because they can't really counter anything right now. And Oko would just take over here. 
All right, now we will just make a food. Yeah. <laughs> Mono Blue cannot beat a voice resurgence. I mean, that just seems insane. Okay, now what to take out, what to take out. We definitely want another voice, why not? Um, these probably aren't great. Dramocus Command seems okay. Deputy seems pretty good. Um, Dust Watch Recruiter and Scavenging Ooze don't seem that necessary. Um, now we could do Settle as a way to blow up. Mystical Dispute seems great. Just one mana counter spell to everything. Now, what else don't we want? Jace is okay. It, it seems like it's kind of a liability. I'm going to at least trim one. We might... Might revisit that and trim a little bit more. Now we did bring in a decent amount of spells, so I do think we have to cut some spells. And I think Dramoka's command is the one that's just not quite as good. I, I think Oko is just better. Um, but you also want to make sure you maximize your amounts of hits off Collected Company. So I guess we'll keep one Dramoka's, something like this. We could also like negate as well but negate seems a little narrow because they do have like master of waves and some really really good threats when it comes to that we do have reflector mage is an interesting one um i mean it seems pretty good right if you can ever hit a tempest gin or whatever it just seems insane this has got to be a good matchup for us so we'll just try this one dramocus command's a little random here but i could see it just being one dust watch just a way to sit back actually we'll do that one random Dramogus Command isn't anything great, but if you get the one, you never want two Dust Watch Recruiters, but if you get one, being able to just say go, uh, activate, you know, put them out of range from trying to keep up with us on card advantage alone, might be okay. Hmm. Yeah, Dramogus Command is an interesting one, though. Maybe I'm over overlooking the value of it, because it does kill a like, Curious Obsession, and it does like fight Master of Waves, so maybe we'll we'll see how it goes and we might revisit that. I think we'll keep uh, our hands a little awkward because we don't have blue besides the goose blue, but I think it's good enough. Forest. Dang it. All right, we'll play this, say go. Nothing, huh? Okay. Now we just want to get a mana creature going, but we really want Goose to live. We're going to try it. Sweet. Okay. Now, if they do go like Tempest Gin, at least we can reflect our major. We really don't want to have to use this, uh, our only food right away. That's great. All right. That's unfortunate. I think we're just gonna get a land of war here and just hold up Mystical Dispute and say go. Really wanted a land. I mean, keeping a two lander on the draw and bricking three times in a row, I think is pretty bad luck. We are only playing 23 land, but still, I think that's uh, rather unlucky. But we might just get a Master of Waves here. This will be interesting if they play. Okay, that's no big deal. All right, Blue Source. Blue source, blue source. Land isn't terrible though. I think we're just gonna go with a tireless tracker here. Well, let's think about this. This is uh, this is an interesting spot. We don't have double blue, so we don't have anything with counter backup with the three spells on our left. Tireless tracker is the most threatening, but with playing a tireless tracker comes the fact that they're probably gonna counter it. So I think it's safer to just play a selfless spirit here and make a food. Yeah, we're just gonna do that. Slow and steady. Now we'll have at least two foods so we can just start casting our blue spells, but and we really don't wanna counter anything this turn, unfortunately. I don't think that's a big deal at all. Yeah, no, we're fine with that. That's about the perfect thing we wanted to play. Something that's not impactful now, but something that will be, but we can uh, defend it a little bit. So we're still just really looking for that blue source to be able to play Oko plus Dispute. And we can just turn that into an Elk. Okay, no such luck. We're gonna get in there. We're willing to trade here. 
lowers their devotion. Still don't essentially have double blue here. So I kind of want to just play Tireless Tracker. I also kind of just want to say go and try to spell quell or something. Hmm. That's tough. This world would be much easier with a blue source. Yeah, we're just going to say go. And we're going to probably just play Spellcrawler. Yeah, being able to have like double counter spell here would make me feel good, but they're getting to the point where it's just, uh, they're just going to be able to re-counter whatever we play. Okay, Mutavault's coming in. We'll just take that. We're okay with that. Okay, now to just play a spell caller. I kind of like it. I want to get something down. It's kind of just bait. We don't really care if that were to get countered. Okay, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's counter bait if I've ever seen it. So we're going to get in there. Taking it. All right, we'll go for it. That's a tough one. They definitely got to have a plan against that. Quench. It's not a great plan. I will pay. All right, now we even have a counter spell up still. This is nice. Now, getting this active is scary, and they can probably push it through somehow. Yeah, we can't counter that. All right. No attacks. Blue source, blue source. Ah, not blue card. Okay. Now, whatever they we play, at least they will trigger Voice of Resurgence. Oh, I kind of just want to play Oko for the high upside here. Then not having blue is definitely a liability. Ugh. That was an unfortunate draw. We got to just start playing stuff that matters, though. Have them trigger this and kind of be happy with it. So I think it's Reflector Mage, Deputy, or Oko here. All of them sound great. I think Reflector Mage is the most appealing right now because if it were to get countered, that's just like a speed bump. Um, and what I mean by that is like, this is just delaying their cards. These two answer their cards, so. And if we can bounce Tempest Jin here, then we can actually attack. That does shut off Devotion, though, so... Yep. All right, now we can't attack. So we'll just say go. And now we're out of blue, so now even if we top deck blue, we can only cast one of our spells. And at this point, I think I would just like double block to try to kill this Tempest Shin. We just have more resources on the board. So I don't think they'd really want to get busy in combat right now. Now if we can top deck a blue source, it would be great. Or even any land wouldn't be bad because then we could go tracker, land, get a clue, and then uh, put food out for goose. Any land would be excellent. Our opponent's deep in the tank. 
This has got to just be a nightmare matchup, though. Voice of Resurgence, just not good for a counterspell deck. Thy Trickster, huh? Okay. Okay. Leads me to believe Tempest Shin wants to get in here. And at this point, I think we just have to take some damage here. Doesn't feel great to throw away some creatures at the moment. I'm getting busy. I either want to chump with Reflector Mage or not block at all and take 10. Feels kind of bad. Yeah, I don't really want to take 10 because they can just make things unblockable and kill me. So maybe I just want to block both. Yeah, actually, I like this. Yeah, let's go like this. We'll block here. We'll block here and make it indestructible. All we lose is a, a selfless spirit in this exchange. And then we can attack. Okay, blue source. Ugh. Does essentially make our stuff uncounterable. Okay, they only have 14 on the crack back. So I think we'll just... Attack, attack, attack. Because they really don't want to block either. They might want to block voice. Okay, then we get a giant creature. Now we'll play a voice. Then we'll be able to generate a food and we'll say go. Now we can just block uh, uh, Thassa. We can just block Thassa with the elemental. This game is definitely close, but I mean, if we just top deck a blue source at any point, this game would not have been close because we just have so much gas in the tank that if we were to just be able to start deploying two of these threats a turn, it's just not close. But the way it stands, it, it, it definitely is a lot closer. Thassa can threaten quite a lot of damage. So I do want to deal with that shortly. Because if I can just block the Tempest Shin or whatever, that's fine. So Deputy Oko, one of those I'm really looking to answer this card. Hmm, okay, that's pretty good. Harbringer, gonna likely bounce our giant elemental spell caller, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's really tough for me to cast again, so that makes sense. Yeah, I was gonna say, I didn't have anything under that. I hoped. Now if Thassa gets in there without being unblockable, I think I just block with voice, but yep, yeah, smart. Okay. Who can't be blocked there, okay. Interesting. Well, we will take it. All right, so we'll make a food. Sweet, we're in the money, we're in the money. Okay, now we get to do some stuff. Now what's the best course of action? So we have six mana, so we can just try to do Oko plus Deputy and just hope one sticks. I think that seems pretty awesome. Which one to start with? 
Um, I think Deputy on Thassa seems really good. Deputy. We could just take Tempest Gin here too. And then Thassa's just shut off. Maybe that's better. All right, we're gonna do that. Now we're gonna get busy. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll just threaten lethal here. Now blocking voice resurgence, is that okay with us? I think so. So we're not gonna cast anything else this turn. We're just gonna hold up spell caller. And this is taking away from uh, devotion as well. Because now something has to be blocked. I mean, they could have animated Mutavault, but they've already went to blockers. Okay. Let's take eight. Another elemental, and then we'll say go. Just so much gas in the tank. Well, I think we played this game pretty well for uh, the lack of land. Boom, that's round one. Uh, feels good to be playing Pioneer. I love this format. Absolutely love it. You understand why we're taking a little break from Standard. Standard is kind of dominated by Public Enemy number one, but you know what? It's it's more of a fair card in this format. You know, we're doing a lot more broken stuff. We weren't hustling out on Elko here. We were, we were just playing good cards. So stay tuned for our second round. All right, round two with Bant Company here. We, uh, we got the die roll again. How lucky of us. Would love to play first. And oh, uh, we got the goose. One more land in this hand is great. I still have companies in this deck, right? I just haven't seen them. All right, we do got a mulligan here. It's just way too risky with Gilded Goose. Now this sounds fine. Um, we're gonna keep. I think I'm gonna put Deputy back. It's tough, I really might need Deputy. Maybe Tracker, but I really want card advantage. And same with Spellcrawler. Spellcrawler could be good. I think I wanna keep Tracker, I think that's the one. And I think I want Voice just because I wanna curve, I would just wanna curve out. So we are on the play, so Spellcrawler gets a lot better. We're still gonna put it on bottom. I'm not sure about this one. This one's really close. All right. Looks like they might be mulliganing as well. Okay, yep, looks like they're down to six. We'll start with the Breeding Pool tapped and pass it back. A mana confluence does hurt, but you know, the mana in Pioneer is not uh, as good in the, as the mana in Modern, so we gotta deal with what we can. All right. Okay, not bad. I wish we would've put a land on bottom now with uh, having hindsight here. All right, Voice of Resurgence. A shock? Nope, just, just bluffing. I don't think they, I don't know if they would shock that. That feels kind of bad to shock. All right, so another game trail and smugs. Seems good. That also seems good. I probably just want to deal with Smuggler's Copter before any traction gets made. But maybe I'm just not supposed to care about that and just play a tireless tracker here. Because then the next turn I can go tracker plus, or Jace plus crack a clue. Yeah, let's just take the copter. The old smugs. Now we can go tracker, make a clue. Oh, I missed saying that. Tracker, make a clue, sack a clue. Your opponents usually don't like to hear that because that amount of card advantage is just outrageous. Or maybe let's top deck a collected company. That's in the deck, right? In our, in our first match, we didn't see a single copy now that I think of it. All right, so there's that mountain. We know nothing about their hand now. Lightning strike just to get it back now. Avoid a spell caller or something. I like that. Look 
Collected company. Collected company. Boom. Nope. But actually, that's not bad. We get to go tracker into Lanawar, get a clue. That's a solid turn. We'll let them connect with a smuggler's copter. We are hurting ourselves a little bit with this mana confluence, but price you got to pay. No, literally, it's the price you got to pay. You got to pay life. All right. Get a lawnmower here and pass it back. Now we hope to keep our tracker alive. I'm guessing this is just green, red beats. I mean, I, I'm not sure. Pioneer's so new. Every deck is just a mystery, which is just awesome. I love it. Okay, Wild Slash is really good. Ooh, no creature though. We love that. Okay. That was good. That was really good. So now we're just going to play Jace. And then pass. And then either sack a clue or play Spell Queller. God, this deck is gas. Jace. Your turn. Now, Jace, it doesn't bring much back except one key card. Collected Company. Which I swear they're in the deck. All right, I don't know what to be afraid of with this deck, but luckily, well, now they can have five drops that are terrifying and we can't really do anything about them. And take them two. Ooh. Why would they take two? This is just a 2-1 haste, but it does crew, so why not? Queller. Now, it might be like a, a lightning strike or whatever, but I'd rather the lightning strike be aimed at spell queller anyways over Jace. Easy. They're like, nope, I'm tilted. All right, so red green deck. Red green deck with the old smugs. So this does not kill artifacts. Okay, so Knight of Autumn seems pretty sweet. Um... Mocha's Command doesn't seem particularly insane, but does prevent damage being dealt from uh, from burn spells, so that's got to be good. Scavenging is probably not great. Recruiter seems okay. Voice of Resurgence doesn't seem that good. I don't want to cut too much early drop here, but we do have a lot of one drops that bridge you into these threes quite well. Maybe Voice, or maybe... Uh, Dramocus Command is just insane. I can see Deputy also not being that good since they do have so much removal to get stuff back. Like, I think just Knight of Autumn and Reflector Mage are just better. Reflector Mage might also not be that great. I can just try to get him with a Saddle. I like that. I like that. Could take out Tireless Tracker as well. They have a lot of uh, Flame Slash type things. I think that seems reasonable to me. And eh, let's leave in one. I think it's better than one random voice. Do have a decent amount of spells in here, but that's okay. We'll run it. And when I refer to a decent amount of spells, I get a little scared just because of collected company numbers, but all right, this sounds nice. Anybody ever played a turn two Oko? Turns out it's good in every format. All right, might kill our goose here. Cook the goose, as they would say. Goose, goose, goose. But that'd be okay. We could just we can just go Jace now or Selfless Spirit. Now, if they go Copter, it gets to be a little more awkward. Could be a Smuggler's Elk. After a few turns. All right. What's your plan, my friend? What's your plan? Experimental one. Probably not that great against our deck. All right, now it's the choice between protecting Jace or just running Jace out there, hoping for the best. And I think I would much rather try to protect, use this selfless spirit as a human shield. Kind of exactly what it's doing here. <laughs> There's always more to give. All 
Right now we have a pretty strong play next turn, either Oko or Knight, depending if they do play a Smuggler's Copter. Okay. It's a little scary. Okay. It's a lot of damage. All right, we're definitely going to try to block that. All right, now I think it's just Oko time. Start gaining some advantage through that. All right, we'll turn this into an elk and just say go. Defense. Lightning strike and then just attack Oko here is pretty bad just because we are um, pretty forced to try to protect it the next turn and we don't have that many options. God, Oko's good. But it does feel way more fair in this format. It's still good, but it doesn't feel as like, you know, brutal to play against in standard. Pioneer is such gas. Look at everybody that's been playing for like seven plus years, which is like kind of around the exact, I mean, I started playing an Onslaught, so, you know, it's a, a little bit longer than that, but I, I went through all these sets. I've taken breaks here and there, but I basically played through all the sets, which is pretty exciting. Oh, so there's a castle that they just want to trade with? Okay. I'm, I'm about that. Oh, okay. It's trying to get me dead here. Well, I think if they're trying to get me dead, I should just try to keep myself alive. Genius. Genius and now, or, uh, expert play here, right? I'm just going to gain life. Gain life, make some food. Say go. Defense. Defense. They play a bigger creature. Experimental one can't be blocked too effectively. They're just like, they see the writing on the wall. The inevitable uh, advantages I get from Oko here versus an aggro deck if they don't plan. I mean, they could have just killed Oko though and things would have been a lot different and then I didn't have that much going on. So a learning lesson, y'all. Kill Oko. We'll see you for our third and final round coming up next. And welcome to our third and final round here with Bant Company. We're on the draw here. We have our accelerants. We're still definitely looking to draw a collected company. Um, you know what, just to see a company would be reassuring. Uh, but we're gonna keep this. All right, white, maybe white weenie. Okay, we're gonna start with a Llanowar Elf. Not a good draw, of course, but something like a tireless tracker, a collected company could really uh, uh, benefit, uh, benefit us very greatly. Or can't draw more than one card each turn. Okay. That card's not that big of a deal against us. Ugh. Gross. All right, I guess we'll play out our hand. It's not a... Uh, I still stand by the keep, you know. But drawing two more lands is definitely unfortunate. But now I think it's time for a collected company. If I say it enough, I think it'll happen. That's not how that works? Okay, all right. I'm pretty tough for them to attack into voice here though. That's a nice blocker. Okay, ooh, miss land drop. All right, well we can't really capitalize unless Ooh, Oko! We can capitalize. Oko is insane right now. All right, you go, Oko. Okay, now I think we're just gonna make food and just say go. Maybe we could attack with voice of resurgence, but I don't mind just like exchanging stuff here at some point. Let's just create another food. We'll get in there. Okay, ship it back. Now we gotta be afraid of them just going like land collect a company though. Not really sure exactly what they're playing, but that's definitely within the realm. We're happy to block.
Could be a Dromoka's command here, yep. Dromoka's command's pretty good. Gets to kill two for one us a, a bit, but with our creatures we don't necessarily care about. Then we actually can't steal it with Oko though, which is kind of annoying. All right, Selfless Spirit's pretty strong. I think we will... I think we just kind of want to get aggressive here. We could leave voice back. It's probably safer to do so. So we're just going to get busy with the food. All right. We'll play Selfless Spirit here and just play this Sanctum. And we'll say go. Now Voice dies. I mean, we get a huge creature upgrade here. History of Banalia. Green, white, knight? Is this even a knight? No? Okay, just green, white, good stuff. Okay. Not a great draw. We probably just want to make another food here and just get aggressive. Could exchange the food in the night. Well, let's just make another food a creature. And we'll attack with everything but voice. All right, they take it, we'll say go. All right. Now we gotta be a little worried about... Oh, wow, that's pretty good. Okay, and we get... Oh yeah, we don't get clues because they're tokens. Ouch. Oh, that's good. That's quite strong. All right. Company, company. I'm honestly just shocked we have not cast a collected company yet. Absolutely shocked. It would be so good right now. Cat. Ooh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Well, we could go like fight, or we could go plus one, plus one counter, sack an enchantment, and then make a food. That seems good. Yeah, we'll do that. So target player sacks an enchantment, counter here. All right, we will. Could just turn our selfless spirit into a three, three. Yeah, let's do that. Get a mild upgrade here. Say go, play some defense. Just try to outgrind grind them. Oko tends to do that. All right, Legion's landing. Green-white tokens, I can get behind that. That's been one of my favorite decks of all times. I had Noble Hire, Kitchen Finks, Overrun, and Windbrist Height, so that was a little bit of an upgrade, but still one of my favorite decks of all time. That card's good. That card's good. Okay. Now we could just turn that into an Elk, but... It's not insane right now, to be honest. We just need a follow up here. Tireless tracker? Ooh, deputy. What does that do? And we could definitely just deal with the knights forever. It's probably safer than taking this. Oh my, oh yeah, look at this line. We found it, we found it. Hello. We'll kill these. 
Let's do a little exchanging, shall we? I'll take this. <laughs> that doesn't seem very fair. And now we can get in there if we want, but now we just want to protect Oko. So we're just going to say go. Protect Oko by saying go, go. That was a sick turn. Okay, and they're handless. We are definitely advantaged now. Crit a 1-1. One, one. That's also attacking, so it's not insane for us right now, but we're definitely going to get in there. Because we can turn that 1-1 one, one into an elk. Yeah, we'll get in there. With just this, I think. Now, Deputy goes there, and they could kill this if they wanted. Sure. We'll take that trade. Lose a couple creatures. Now, we'll just make a food. I think we hold the land here just for tireless tracker. Now we gotta start just getting busy with these once Elko gets a little bit higher. Courser, okay. That's a reason to kind of hurry up, but I guess we can just turn that into an elk. Ooh, hello. We'll play that. Now I regret not playing the land, of course, but. I will look. <clears throat> wow. Okay, I mean, that is all gas. Reflector Mage is probably the better card here since I have the Recruiter to just kind of go off. So we'll just do that. Now we will make this into a food. Um... And now the question is to attack with the elemental or not. It, it could get blocked by everything, and then we don't have that good of trades. So I think we're just going to say go. We'll let this Shalai come down and then bounce it and then just keep Dust Watch. That's a problem. That is a problem. Okay, so we'll definitely play this Reflector Mage. Bounce our only target. Now we will activate. Another Reflector Mage. Any order. Play the Recruiter. And now we're going to start getting a little frisky. We'll just get in there for seven. Oh, yeah, that's smart because that would have went back to me. Touche. Touche. I guess I shouldn't have attacked. We'll just do this. We'll say go. Now, Tristani is a card that we don't really want to bounce, so we'll probably just try to turn it into an elk. What does that do? Wow, okay. Okay. There we go. We got a company. Now, what do we want to do with it? I think we just want to start by turning this into an elk. Elkified. And then Reflector Maging back Courser seems kind of decent. Or saving it for Shalai could be pretty good as well. Now let's 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 put it back and then just get a little aggressive here. Alright. Now selfless spirit. Both the food or the food and the selfless spirit that is a food. Getting in there. 
And we're gonna play this Collected Company in response to the spells they play. Just in case we get a Spell Queller. We finally get to cast Collected Company! This is exciting! So they're trying to destroy this for sure. Let's company. Tracker and Jace, I guess, are the picks. Pretty strong. Now we can just collect a company again with Jace, which is disgusting, or Dramoka's Command. All right, we'll draw, flip Jace. Wow. Okay, we'll go like this. We will flashback to Mocha's command. We will put a counter on, doesn't matter. We'll put a counter on here and have this creature fight this. And then we will cast Deputy on the Mystics, animate the food into a 3-3, and kill them. Wow, Oko was insane this game. Absolutely insane. Wow, okay. So green-white aggro, um, they do have Dramoka's commands, but deputing like Lana Wars and stuff is just still insane. Don't need scavenging ooze. Settle seems, well, they do have Shalai. They do have Shalai, that seems kind of bad then. Pretty minimally sideboarding here. I like the Reflector Mages, Spellcaller's okay. Trackers are okay. Voice of Resurgence is pretty medium. You can for sure cut one of those. I kind of like cutting a Spellcaller. Maybe just a couple of voices. I do just like curving out, but maybe they're just not that important. All right, let's try this. All right, up a game. Ew. All right, we gotta ship this one back. Sounds playable. It's not good. Think we can just send back the planes pretty safely. Yeah, this is not a good hand. Let's hopefully they're mulliganing as well. It seems like they are. Oh, well, I hate to wish that upon them, but they definitely mulligan and they're down to five. So now I feel a little better about our keep. We still don't like do much though. So, I mean, this is a hand that easily could get run over. Goose, oh my, Never mind. this hand's insane. This hand's busted. <laughs> Turn two, Oko, let's go. God, Oko is still just broke -o. In this format. We could hold up Spell Queller as well. Okay. Yeah, I think getting Oko down is just pretty insane here. Make another food. And we can just make him sacrifice that with Dramoka's Command too, so we're not that afraid of a Shaper Sanctuary. It's cute, but. Okay, that card's good. Here I think we just have to let them draw a card and deal with this. We could exchange control. Yeah, that seems pretty insane. <laughs> Becomes the target of a spell or ability. Okay, so it does target. Do I want them to draw a card? Because I can prevent it. All right, let's do this. We're going to go with a Gilded Goose. I'm going to get another food. We're going to go with a Dramoka's Command. Um, 
Target player Saxon enchantment, put a counter. So target player, get this goose a little bit stronger. And then we're just gonna take this. You may have a food. And now we get to get in there for one. Seems good. Seems pretty good. Oh, this deck is insane. <laughs> did we just casually go 3-0-6-0? No big deal. I think we did. This deck is finely tuned, and I think it is just an insanely powerful force to be reckoned with. Let's uh, head to the deck tech where we can talk a little bit more about the individual card choices. We'll see you there. All right, and welcome to the deck tech here. Okay, so let's talk about some of the individual card choices because they are a lot different from when Bant Company used to be a very popular standard deck around the time when uh, Brian Braun Duan, one of my good friends, uh, took down World. Bant Company was the most popular deck. It was the best deck. Um, it played Jace, it played Reflector Mage, played Tireless Tracker, it played Collected Company. Um, Voice of Resurgence I don't think was there, but it played Jermulka's Command, but it didn't really have any accelerants. It was just a little bit more of a slow deck. But now we get the addition of Gilded Goose, where Gilded Goose is not that good on its own. Like, you would not just play Gilded Goose without Oko, but having Oko here with, with you allows you to have these aggressive draws where, I mean, in, in an ideal world you, world, you get to go turn one Gilded Goose, turn two Oko, turn three Collected Company, and like, let's go, you know? I mean, that just seems insane. Um, so along with that, one Llanowar. Um, This is a deck that was popularized... Shouldn't even say popularized, but I was in a 5-0 deck dump by uh, Watsy staff, Andrew Brown. Uh, Andrew Brown was a plat frozen platinum player, absolute sicko. I saw the list and I was like, yes, I have to try this. It looks awesome. So all credit goes to Andrew Brown. Um, and then, yeah, classic that Watsy staff, still just 5-0 in leads like nobody's business. All right, let's talk about the mana base real quick here. Fabled Passage um, with a bunch of basics I think is awesome. It can be a little awkward when you have mana accelerants because like your third land is Fabled Passage and you still can't cast company. So that gets to be a little awkward. But uh, Botanical Sanctum is your best land for sure. Uh, you got a mana confluence, a couple temple gardens. The, the mana base is pretty tuned and it felt pretty good. Um, the only concern I would say is maybe a little bit more blue sources. I could see like a temple garden turning into a hollowed fountain because I did struggle with blue a little bit. But now looking at it, there is a lot of blue. So... Forget what I said. I think that would be fine. Then we got four Jace's Prince Prodigy. Uh, Prodigy. This card is phenomenal. Being able to loot through your deck is already good. Um, the plus one on the Planeswalker side, relevant. But the negative three um, targeting either a Collected Company or a Dramoka's Command is almost lights out immediately. So if you can go end step Collected Company, uh, then untap, activate Jace. Normally you have enough cards by that state of the game. Um, and then you can just cast Collect a Company again, and that's just so much for most decks to deal with. We got two Selfless Spirits. Comes in handy, being able to sac uh, sacrifice this to protect that creature in combat. Two Dustwatch Recruiters. You don't want too many of these, but this card really goes the long game. <coughs> um, allows you to, you know, find different creatures you want, as well as flip it and make stuff cost a little cheaper. Not super relevant. The front side of it's very good. Scavenging Ooze I was not impressed with. I, I would cut this moving forward. Um, there's just not that many decks that abuse the graveyard yet. Now, I could see it being a, a, a sideboard slot, but like as of now, I would just put that other Voice of Resurgence in the deck and put the Scavenging Ooze to the board. I, I think that would be a good exchange. Or another Dramogus Command, because this card's phenomenal. Making Being able to put a counter on something and fighting is like the normal modes, but you even saw in one of our rounds where we went uh, Sack and Enchantment to deal with a Sanctuary, and a History of Benelia against this green-white aggro deck a little bit ago. So the card's powerful. Voice of Resurgence made uh, a round one opponent very sad. Mono Blue does not really have a good time dealing with this card, and we definitely saw the power of it in that match. And then here is our, like, disruptive blue-white card. Spellqueller, Reflector Mage, Deputy. I like two more Deputy in the board, too, when you just want to max out on interaction. Because when you're collected company into just creatures and you're behind on the board, it's not going to like allow you to come back. But collected company into these cards that um, deal with creatures, that's what allows you to come back. Talked a little bit about Oko. I mean, everybody knows Oko is, is warping every single format right now. And, and this is a phenomenal shell to abuse it in. So you know what? If you can't beat them, let's all just join them and at least play fun decks that play Oko. Now, 
something to be said about standard decks that play Oko because let's get real, uh, standard's not in a great place right now, but that's another topic for another day. And then two tireless trackers just as another engine uh, to keep the stuff growing, similar to Dustwatch Recruiter. Great card, I could see a third, but it, it was just okay. You just don't have that much free mana in this format like you did when it was in standard. And then Collected Company, the Hallmark card. We actually cast one last game, but we just didn't draw the card very often, so it was pretty awkward. Let's move on to the sideboard here. We got three Knight of Autumns. Pretty flexible card, uh, dealing with Smuggler's Copter, gaining life. Um, when you're trying to bring it in as a 3-mana 4-3, that's not really relevant. So the two counters isn't, isn't really relevant here, but against Burn and Artifacts and Enchantments that matter, it's a very relevant card. Another voice for any counterspell matchup. Dramokas Command for any fair creature-based things, as well as some aggressive enchantment decks like Enchantress or something. Deputy, wherever they don't have great removal for it, and it, it, it's good against, you know? I mean, that's kind of a vague explanation, but like, for instance, Devotion, Mono Green Devotion. A pretty bad matchup in my opinion, but you bring it in against this and you can strap Lana War Elves, you can take Forest, you can take... Uh, um, or not Forest, it's a uh, non-land. I, I meant like when Nissa animates it. But or you can just take Nissa, take Pelucranos, kind of the big spells. One more Scavenging Ooze for Graveyard decks. And then we got four counter spells for your kind of Azorius Control or Sultai Control. Anything where counter spells are really relevant. As well as Mystical Dispute against Oko is excellent. And then also against Fair decks, Gideon, Ally of Zendikar is still a powerhouse. Still a good card. I didn't get to bring it in at all yet, but I'm hoping to. And then one settle for these all index where maybe you can just get them. Not sure about that. That one I'll have to test a little bit more to check it out. But you best believe I'm going to be playing more with Band Company because this deck is insane. We destroyed this drop in bombs. Just 3 0, 6 0, no big deal. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll be back next week with more drop in bombs. See you later.